Hey everybody, Zach Campbell here at the home of the world champions, the Atlanta Braves at Truist Park in Atlanta, which is my 26th Major League Baseball Stadium this season. For a while I've been saying that I'm gonna hit up all 30, so we are getting close. And speaking of numerical countdowns, I am currently nine baseballs away from 12,000. So I hope it happens here. I will be back tomorrow, so that's really the goal, to get nine balls in two days. The more I get today, the better, less pressure tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. And can you guys guess who's playing here today based on what I'm wearing? Yep, that's right. You guys might have seen the Rockies in a recent video. And we are on the board, first ball of the day, and the Rockies are just starting to hit. So, left field, here we go. The first group of Rockies BP is in the books and I got two baseballs and all of that action was actually filmed by my buddy David. Unshade your face. It's so out here. It's there you go. Uh, Fenway Chris just got inside the ballpark a little bit late. Some trouble with the bag rules here. So now Chris is with us. So hopefully more action starting There's a chance that I could get number 12,000 today. I've already gotten six baseballs, a toss up from an employee, four home runs on the fly, and the cup trick in the bullpen. So like I said at the start, I was nine away, I've gotten six. So, just three more. This is getting very interesting. It's definitely gonna happen in Atlanta. Now the question is, today or tomorrow?
one that I get is number 12,000. This is 11,999. Did you get one yet? and success for two and a half groups of Rockies batting practice, I didn't quite get the ricochets at the very end. Now there were a few home runs that landed in the seats within a section of me, but I just was not able to chase them down. And you know what? I'm secretly kind of glad. I didn't know who any of those batters were, and I really want to know the source of number 12,000, whoever hits or throws it. Things today were much more mellow than I expected, but it's a weeknight against a last place team late in the season, so it was definitely nice to have some extra space to do my thing. And as for number 12,000, just one baseball away, I was thinking, should I not go for a pregame ball and then try to get a gamer? I do have really nice seats on the third base side, but I think I'm just going to go for it at this point, pregame, during the game, and I would be surprised if I don't get number 12,000 before this night is through, so we'll see how this plays out. Austin Riley with the colossal clout early on in the first inning, right center field to break the early scoreless tie. That one barely reached the front row and it measured 396 feet. So that just gives you an idea of how big of a pitcher's park, truest park is, at least out in that direction to right. So anyway, it's the top of the second now. I did not get the ball that ended the first inning. I'm not nervous. I mean, I still have all of tomorrow to get number 12,000, but it would be cool to get a game used ball. So I am on heightened alert, and uh, yeah, I have seven or eight more chances here.
source of 12K. And okay, I'll admit that it looks a little silly to be celebrating after catching a toss-up thrown from like five feet away, but it is what it is, and that is number 12,000. So understand what a big deal this is for me. Nice to get some props from my friend Chip. We've gotten him in some videos in the past. He used to be on the grounds crew here. And as we head right now to the bottom of the fifth inning, the Braves are on top 2-0. I don't know if I mentioned it, it was a two-run shot by Austin. And Riley in the first inning and I want to tell you more about my personal milestone balls every thousandth ball but I want to wait till the next inning starts and it's not quite so loud but uh, I'm feeling so happy about this fun and now that it's quiet again I got to tell you more about my personal milestones I've made a point to get every thousandth ball at a different stadium through the years going back to 1996 when I got number 1,000 at Shea Stadium and then just going through them quickly number 2,000 Olympic Stadium old Yankee Stadium Dodger Stadium was 4,000 Sky Dome was 5,000 Fenway Nationals Park City Field Chase Field in Arizona was 9,000. Camden Yards in Baltimore was the big one, 10,000. And then three years ago in Anaheim, Angel Stadium, 11,000. And now Atlanta, Truist Park. So yeah, I did it. And I will link in the description to all of my personal coverage of those thousandth balls. I believe I have either a blog entry or a video about all of the previous 11, I think. But whatever I have, I'll link to it. So definitely check that out. And yeah, I mean, I'm almost tempted to go to the outfield now and try to catch a home run, but I paid a lot for these seats, so just gonna chill here, relax, soak it in. If I get another one, that would be double digits for the day, which is cool, but if my day ends with nine and 12,000 on the dot, I am so satisfied. seventh inning the Braves are on top three nothing and it is cool to be this close to the dugout and see the players up close and one person that I officially have to shout out is this guy Jose Ureña he is the one that tossed number 12,000 so a big thank you to him I will always remember his name and root for him hard no matter where he goes in his career and by the way I think that number 12,000 may have been a CJ Crone foul ball that bounced into the dugout I saw that Crone did hit one, and the baseball that I snapped
bag does have a big dirty scuff mark on it, so that would line up and check out. Can't be certain, but I think so. So right now, we have Robbie Grossman at the plate, and it seems like the Braves have ended so many innings with strikeouts, the Rockies catcher is not tossing any of them up, so I want to see this ball get put into play. Please? Please? Please. I think it's safe to put Kenley Jansen in the legend category, so it was cool to see him enter the game in the ninth inning, but it did not go smoothly for him. And on one particular pitch, it did not go smoothly for my videographer, Chris. He got deeped for just a moment by the runner on first taking off as Michael Tolia, playing in just his second career game, launched his very first home run. A two-run shot to make things really interesting. But Kenley being Kenley, he bounced back and shut things down after that to earn his 30th save of the season and number 380 of his career. Now Austin Riley also had gone yard earlier, as did Ronald Acuna Jr. So despite the low score, there was lots of action. The Braves won it 3-2 to continue their march toward the postseason. And after all the players cleared the field, I awkwardly filmed myself getting one final baseball from a very friendly groundskeeper my 10th of the day, which I handed off to a kid on my way out of the stadium. And look where I am, outside, pretty close to where we started things off many, many hours ago. And so, of the 10 baseballs that I got today, I gave away nine of them. The only one that I'm keeping, well, this one right here, number 12,000. But all of them count for the lifetime total, of course, which is now, it's fun to finally do a video moving out of the 11,000s, 12,001, I love it. So yeah, just feeling so good about how today went. Batting practice was amazing. All those home runs on the fly. So really glad to be back here in Atlanta and I will be back tomorrow for one more game. And then we're going to Savannah to see the bananas after that. So this is just an amazing week. Lots more great videos coming your way. Got cool tickets tomorrow in a different spot. So. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and. Oh boy.